Hi there and welcome to this video where we're going to explore um, the concept of conservation of momentum. So what we've got here is a track and on the track we've basically got some carts, some trolleys. Now these trolleys have the ability to combine. There's some Velcro on the ends here which basically allow them to stick together. Or we also have um, them set up with some magnets. So if I just turn them around here, we can see, whoops, got them the wrong way around. As we can see, there's no, there's no actual um, collision which, which occurs. It's just the, the magnets working together. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just try and demonstrate exactly what happens with respect to conservation of momentum. The concept that um, energy has got to be conserved. Because energy has got to be conserved, so does momentum. So you think about kinetic energy, half mv squared. You think about momentum, mv. All of those components have that v, that v in there, which is the energy. And it's gonna be passed on from one um, cart into the other. So let's set up a variety of scenarios and then we can um, explore what's happening with respect to conservation momentum and what we knew or what we learned in the theory. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a stationary car and I'm going to use the magnets in this case because what it's going to do is give me um, an elastic collision. Elastic collision means all the energy should be passed on to the other object. So I'm going to pull back my car over here and basically I'm just gonna get it to, to, I'm just gonna bring it in, and I want you to watch this cart and see what happens not only to this cart, but also to this cart over here. So we'll just pull it in now. And what we see here is basically there's a complete set of energy transfer. The energy is passed on to the other cart the same energy that we had at the beginning. So what we start with is what we, what we finish with. Okay, this stays stationary, this one carries on moving. One more time. So note that when the, this um, cart comes in, as it's coming in, it's got momentum, MV, and what happens is that momentum is then passed on to this cart. Noting that it's having the same mass, the velocity here should equal the velocity over here. So one more time, and we see that that velocity is virtually the same as this one. Now on this track it actually has a ruler and I could measure the distances and the times and I could convert that into um, working out the overall velocity. So that's basically where we've got um, just a simple uh, collision which is occurring where we get a a rebound. Now, what happens if we increase the mass? Well, what I've got here is a half kilo masses. So let's see what happens if I increase the mass of this object and then pass it on to a cart which has just got its normal mass. So I'll take it back, pull it in. Notice what happens to the velocity. Coming in, the velocity of this cart is a lot faster than the velocity of this cart. Why is that? Well, basically, the energy from this car, as it's coming in, because it's got a large mass, it's going to have a smaller velocity. But due to conservation of energy, small mass means that it's got to have a larger velocity. That basically means that um, energy is being conserved. So one more time. See, it moves off incredibly quickly. So let's see if this happens all the time for masses. I've got another mass here, which I'll put it in. So what we should see is an increase in, in um, velocity of this car, even more so. So I'll pull it in quite slowly. Bang, and you see it's really, really fast. Put a bit more energy into it. And you can see that it's moving across, remembering that this has got less mass, so it makes up for its lack of mass by increasing its velocity. Okay, so that deals with basically just our transfer with respect to rebounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn these around. So basically I'm going to deal with coupling. What happens with coupling? Now if we were go back to our um, uh, video that we were looking at, coupling basically occurs when things join. Now what we've got, as I say, we've got some Velcro on the ends here which allow these to stick together. So energy of conservation is still of momentum is still going to apply. Now what's going to happen is 
the mass is going to increase as this cart comes in. The mass is going to increase because these two are going to combine together. If the mass increases of these two, then what should happen is that the velocity should decrease. Now these two um, carts have the same mass. So obviously if I double the mass, I'm going to have to halve the speed so that I still have the same momentum of what I started with beforehand. So remember, this is our before momentum, MV. This will be our after momentum when they're coupled together. So let's take our cart, let's have it coming in and see what happens, see if that's true. In it comes, combines and look how it slows down. Why does it slow down? Because it's doubled the mass. If it doubles the mass, it must halve the velocity. One more time. Okay, so we can do the same scenario where we start putting in more mass. Okay, what happens if I have more mass, which is applied with the, with, um, with the car? Doesn't have as much effect. Now, what's happening here? This is quite a heavy mass. This is quite a light car. This is heavier than this car. So the car itself, the increase in mass, is not actually going to have a noticeable effect. And you will notice that if I, if I increase the mass of this. So I've got a kilo of mass acting on here. This is quite light, so the overall effect on the momentum is not going to be as great. Although we will still see that the velocity should decrease, although it will be just slightly, because the mass has not changed um, significantly. You see, it carries on at virtually the same speed, but it will have dropped. Again, maybe speed it up. And we see that it moves off, but this mass is having very little effect. So that looks at what happens when we're dealing with um, our coupling. They stick together, we increase the mass. Conservation of momentum means what, what we start with is what we finish with, but because we've increased the mass, then the velocity is going to be affected. Now the final thing I'm going to show you is what happens when we get two objects coming together. Now obviously we're on a track here, so they can only go in one, one D, one dimension. So what I'm going to do is actually just get the two carts to, to, to combine. And what we see is we get rebounding of the, of the carts. Now remember there, there's a magnet in here which repels, so you can see that they bounce off with the same amount of energy. Okay, one more time. Lovely, so you can see it moving, bouncing off quite quite happily. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a mass here. We're gonna put it in the middle. Um, that's so we've got equal transfer of mass. Okay, so we've still got the magnets working here. So what we're gonna do is pull them to the side and we're gonna get them to combine. And what we notice is that the energy in here, the, the velocity that we've got in here is greater than the velocity in here. How's that happen? Well, what we've got to appreciate is the law of conservation of momentum. What we've got to take into account is the momentum of this car coming in plus the momentum of this car. So they both have energies acting in different directions. Okay, now what happens is when they rebound this cart goes off with a larger momentum, the mass hasn't changed, because the velocity is, in, is increasing. However, this goes off with a lesser uh, velocity. But if I was to add this momentum and this momentum as they rebound, it will equal the momentum of th uh, this car and this car coming in. So they're going to be the same. So as we, as we move them in, what we notice is this has a huge velocity, this decreases in its velocity. Now we'll see that even more if we add a secondary mass. So we'll pull them to the side. So remember, this momentum here plus this momentum here will equal this momentum here plus this momentum here as they rebound. Hence that's conservation of momentum. So let's pull them in together. You can see here, this virtually stays stationary. This goes off with a very, very large velocity. Why is that? Well, basically, this can't impart enough force on this mass to get it to move, especially when it's moving here. So it transfers its energy onto this one. Now, if you imagine these are two cars, or a car and a truck, the result is there's gonna be more change here 
than there is on this one because it, it requires more force to do the change. So now you can start implementing Newton's second law, F equals ma, where you've basically got the idea that in order to cause a change in velocity, you've actually got to imply a force. Well, it's easier to imply a force on this one because there's less mass. So as this comes in, it's going to apply a lot more force on this object, hence it's going to change its velocity. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Um, join me again for more videos where we're going to be looking at our senior physics concepts. And um, yeah, I look forward to you seeing, them, seeing you then. Bye for now.